I learned a new way to gesso some panels from my good friend Errol Jacobson. Uh, and instead of using a brush, I use a wallboard scraper. Uh, and you can get these at the hardware store. This is a, an e adhesive spreader. Uh, it's got the little grooves in it. Can you see the grooves? And it'll make sense why I'm using that. I, you can use a regular one. Or you can even brush it on first really thick if you want, but this just makes it easier. Tub of gesso, acrylic, professional grade, because I'm a professional artist. <laughs> So I'm putting some gesso on a 8x10 panel. Okay. This is just a quarter inch uh, masonite. Doesn't have to be perfect. It makes it easier once you start using the scraper. And I just, uh, it's sort of like icing a cake, I guess. So it'll give you a little texture if you want it, if you want that um, sort of large, if you paint with a palette knife, it'll, it can give you a palette knife like effect if you want a little bit of that texture. And so you, you said, talk about the benefits of doing it this way because when I do it, I'm doing this thing in like three, four different coats and you're, you're essentially hammering this out in one coat, right? Yep, just one, you just get, you're just, um, uh, I'm going back and forth because I'm spreading out the gesso as evenly as I can so that I can just kind of get that one last final pass that I just feel comfortable with and that I want to just leave it. Sometimes it goes faster, sometimes it's slower, sometimes there might be a little bit of uh, something in the gesso or or something and you'll get a streak like that where it literally yeah, picks it all the way up. Sand or some or yeah. Whatever. And that's what you're trying to find. Alright. And I'm just gonna leave it like that. Uh, there's yeah. a, a tiny bit of a ridge, but I don't really mind. I like a little bit of it gives it just a tiny bit of variety. Uh, if I put a fan on it, it'll be dry in about 10-15 minutes. We have a previously prepared uh, gessoed panel, but I just wanted to show you that once it's done, I just use a block sander. I use a fine, fine grit. Okay. Um, cool. And you just, when you're done, you just wash it off with water. And I'll just do a light sanding on my panel. And you can use your fingers. I mean, it's smooth to begin with, but this just makes it sexy smooth. And that's really, that's it. And it makes it go pretty quick and smooth at the same time. And in one pass and it's done. So that's preparing a hardboard the Aaron Miller way. It is, yeah. yes. <laughs>